see how the truck is driving on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I am too. And where they're doing this whole thing, right? Where they have like three lanes, even though there's two lanes. Right. And if you didn't know that was going on, mm -hmm. you would be risking head on collisions like the whole time, over and over and over. It would be really frustrating because if you drove like you drive in the United States, or in really any other country in the world, except for like the country where, it's, where there's like no rules on the mm -hmm. road, mm -hmm. you would like, you wouldn't be giving way. Did you see the snake crossing? No, I missed it. I think you got it on the video. Though. Okay. It's a snake crossing. Oh my God. I'm saying snake crossing. Okay. <laughs> because that's okay. probably a big snake. I guess. Like, or maybe you just need to know about it. I don't know. Anyway. For some reason. That was a snake crossing. Okay. okay. But, like, if I didn't know that I was supposed to be driving on the shoulder, mm -hmm. I would be holding my lane, and there's there would be constantly, I'd be constantly having to swerve under the shoulder, not understanding, and I would be, like, really frustrated and nervous, mm -hmm. not knowing that this is just how they drive on this stretch. This is just how you're supposed to drive on this road. It's no, probably, I see what you're saying. It's probably even illegal. It's probably against their law books, but this is still... How everybody's doing it. So yeah, yeah. I see but if that. I help my lane, people don't expect me to be in that lane. They expect me to be over here a little bit. Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah, because like, like this, this guy's gonna, gonna pass. Gonna come out, you know, if he, if he come, decides to come out, I'm in the lane. Yeah, I'm gonna get in ahead on. It does feel dangerous. I mean, over here on the shoulder. Because it is. But dangerous. yeah, yeah. You fly off. You're pretty much gonna roll the car and. Up in a cactus, probably. That's not really how this is you know, supposed to work. No, but it's, I mean, but it does work. work. Yeah, it would works. be a pain in the ass to drive, I mean, because of all the yeah. the semis, you know, it would be a, a pain. Oh, oh, there's an eagle crossing. Or eagle, or yeah, something. A flying bird. Crossing. Snakes and flying birds. Why yeah. am I worried about the birds that are flying across the road? I do want to know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's a real problem with that. It I don't seems know. like I shouldn't have to worry about flying animals. I, I really would like to uh, see. There's the emergency number. It's the United States yes. number, by the way. Emergency number. Really? That's two zeros. Okay. Zero zero one would be the United States toll free number. Are you like sure that's a U.S. number? That doesn't make sense. Five two is the. That country. doesn't make any sense. That couldn't possibly be a US zero number. zero one. I mean, we'll look. But it's that not. Up. It's zero. Okay, zero, it's zero one. No, it's just zero, zero one. There's two zeros. Zero zero one. Oh really? Okay. But maybe the only maybe Mexican toll free numbers starting with zero zero one also is possible. Okay. I guess I'm not, I'm not sure on that one. Okay. If I call the United States or Mexico at zero zero one. Mexico is five two is their country. Okay. Map. Right. Right. Okay, we'll have to look that up. That's weird. Yeah, I we haven't seen a single animal yet, you know. Um, but there's, you know, there's a sign. There's a sign for the snake crossing, the eagle crossing, or bird co crossing probably, and then mountain lion crossing and wolf or probably coyote crossing. Oh, oh, what's this one? Coyote? Wolf? Coyote? Probably coyote, not a wolf. I bet, no, it's not a wolf. I would be a coyote. We, we did see the dead. We did see a we did dead. See a, dead coyote. a dead coyote, yes. I had this whole part of the trip. We're about, we're still on Federal Highway 2. We're about, I'd say probably about 60 miles from where we turned south. On to, I think it's 50, 15. 15, I think. 15D, okay. I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. but I think that's the highway. It's the same one that goes if you if you went north, you'd end up in Nogales and then you'd cross over to Arizona. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Is the highway we'll turn on to. Right. But I had this area as like narcos and drugs and mm -hmm. there's this, this really cemetery. Oh, it's a cemetery? Cool. Mm. I, I totally didn't expect it to be 
like this would be either ice, ice, no man's land, right? Yeah, Completely like desolate desert, and no, no nothing for miles. Yeah. yeah. There were, there were spots, but it was, it was because it was a mountain. It wasn't started. like desolate, scary though. It was just like rural. Yeah. Right. Driving, through, driving the through the mountains. Yeah. There was, you know, Unpopulated, but not desolate right. per se. Yeah. There was a guy who opened the door for us at the last gas station. Really? Normally? <laughs> yeah. I mean, why would we not think that it would be that way? Right. I mean, you know, so why would we... Come in and open the door for us. Yeah. I mean, well, that's what I'm saying is how silly it seems now to have been concerned about this trip to Hermo Her Hermosillo, you know. I'm sure there are dangerous parts, but we're not looking for it, so we're not finding it. We haven't seen any dangerous parts yet. I mean, I don't know what it's like at night, but it sure doesn't seem like it'd be that bad. At I night, see how people might feel like this is scary, you know, if they have no experience at all. Like, if this is their first driving experience in a foreign country, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you've got like people hopping over the overpass, and there's you know, and there's there's stuff yeah. going on, but it's not like it's pretty tame, it's pretty tame, yeah, yeah. it's not, it's yeah, these are just human beings out there, really. Yeah. I realize our threshold's a bit higher, but well, still, it's, it's just not, it's really not, it's no different than driving through an inner city, though. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, it's just, like, um, yeah, really not that much different from the United States, except in the United States, like, everything is so similar to everything else. Like, you, you know, I mean, there's Pemex, and there's, Os there's OXO, Queen. you know, and there's Dairy Queen again. You know, I mean, and that's, that's like the United States, right? Where it's like, there's another Dairy Queen, there's another Pemex, there's another OXO, but like, that part's different here, where you have different... Brands. Well, yeah, like family businesses and like little businesses, little restaurants, you know, you, you drive past, you know, cut any city in the United States, I mean, little or big, it's all the same restaurants, all the same, you know, Starbucks, you got Starbucks and Village Inn and... and I don't know, you know, uh, KFC, McDonald's. Amigos, McDonald's, whatever. Yeah, Wendy's, you know. It's always just the same, the same, you know. And and so, you know, I suppose if you came here and you'd never been someplace else, you maybe would think, like, that it was overwhelming, yeah, you know. It's but it's, I mean, so there's a couple people, like, there's a guy up here that's, it's you know. Hitchhiking. But there's, yeah, there's hitchhikers in the United States. It's I mean, that's weird. not different. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's not that. I mean, there's the potholders. Sometimes some of the potholders are kind of big, but you know, they're not. It's not the way it's portrayed. I mean, not like at all. It's just, this is just not. I haven't white knuckled yet. Oh, not even you know, close. There are some windy areas when we're driving through the beautiful mountain ranges. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gorgeous landscape, and it was a little windy. I white up a little bit there, but it was because of nature, not because of, like... People? people. It wasn't, there wasn't anything yeah. wrong with the it was just, people. You know, the road, gusty wind for a while. Well, and it's overall... It's gorgeous country. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. Well, and it's interesting, you know? because it's not just a repeat of a repeat, a copy of a copy right. of a copy. It's like, every, you know, people living their lives in all these different ways and creative ways. I mean, the you know? down stuff might be kind of scary. That's what I, I know, mean, is because, maybe that's yeah. what people are, they're like, oh, it's scary. It's the rundown place in the United States tend to be the worst parts of town, more rundown areas. Not always, not always, but well, I mean, without but their comfort, yeah, without, yeah. Their, without their village and their Walmart and all that, I, mean, I can understand why they would feel uncomfortable because there's nothing that they can anchor into. They don't understand that they can just like, well, like when we stopped, you know, a while back, there's stopped a couple different places that are like, many places actually that are just like whatever but I mean like a, a restaurant or a right or there's a gas station or you know and, and I can understand why that would be out of certain people's comfort zones and stuff you know? yeah but it's I mean but it's not um, this trip from Tijuana to Hermosillo not scary not at all Got it totally. 168 yeah. miles. I mean, yeah, I maybe I maybe something you know. We are, run we are into the closer, so banditos you know, or whatever. When we turn onto the next highway, we will be inching closer and closer to you know 
the Golden Triangle. Not today, though. Tomorrow is sure. when we really start to mm-hmm. you know, get closer to it. So we'll so see. It's, it's you know, be over there from the car. It's but not it's not, here. either way, it's not like the whole distance. I mean, e- right. if, if there's a pocket of danger, I mean, God, that's just like the United States. Right. You know, you go to Chicago and, you know, you can go to North okay. Chicago, you're okay. You go to South Chicago, you're not, you know, and that's not any different than anywhere else in the world. You know, but if you, you know, if, if we were to put this video up and talk about how dangerous it was, you know, everybody who watched the video would believe it was dangerous and feel like it was responsible to approach the trip as though it was dangerous. That's true, put the right soundtrack under this film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and make it seem edgy and, yeah. and then it would make us seem brave, right. you know, but in reality, this is kind of like driving on I-80 through, um, uh, pretty country yeah. through an area that's really pretty and interesting. <laughs> We're going to get to see some of it after dark because the sun's going down. So That's true. We'll see what that's like. Yeah. 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 That's true. Okay. This is the Aduana de so- Sonoita. The customs. officer but it wasn't scary at all and he was fine he didn't ask us for a bribe just looked at looked at your uh, dad's license and um, and then shook his hand and we left that? and that was pretty much it yep. we were all geared up to have to do a bribe and everything and asking where we were going yep I told you to put your phone away yeah and Did unfortunately I well I didn't you know I recorded it but it didn't record anyways so that's okay though whatever but anyways um so you spoke spanish with him but um dad and i played dumb and stuff and i translated right right and that worked for us you know this time so that was a positive experience police officer so yeah it was fine it's fine so this is driving at twilight or whatever on this highway that we were terrified of it's just, earlier it's today. It's a beautiful highway. It's better than many highways in the States. It's fine. Like, I, I, I mean, it's like just a gorgeous highway. I mean, it's plenty of shoulder. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's well maintained. I mean. It's scenic. Yeah. Yeah. Speed limit's about 70 miles an hour. It's 110 kilometers an hour. Okay. Okay. Car is 105. 105. Pesos, okay. So I have it right here. I just need five pesos out of here. Hola. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. It's two. I need five. Oh. Two. Lo siento. <laughs> Cinco? Is that? Six. Correct? Okay. okay. What's your thrasses? Is there a sign that looking for sign there? Like a... Ooh, looks like restrooms maybe. What, Lydian? There's a sign with a picture on it. Like a trying to look for somebody. One of those signs. Oh, like a missing person sign? Okay. Thank you, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, like a criminal thing. Right. Oh. Like a criminal thing. Oh, okay. Oh, wanted. Wanted. Thank you. Banos. Oh, buenos. Two and a half miles still. Okay, two and a half miles to the, um... Uh, I think to, to where we get onto the... The the highway that leads to Hermosia. It's the one that comes from Nogales. From Nogales, yeah. So, what city is this? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, we'll see. 
There's probably a sign. We saw earlier. <laughs> going faster than that. Mm -hmm. The white car just ran into the red car. Backed into the red car. Yeah. So far, it's. Uh, it seems okay. Yeah. Seems fairly friendly. The dog's coming over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just gonna work it out. Well, probably. It's a pretty decent thing to do. That means. Hopefully it was a train. Okay. I'm saying that maybe is what caused the start of the yep. problem, you know. Well, so far we've been sitting here for about 15 minutes, so. Right? Something yeah. like that. Yeah, 800 feet. <sighs> 15 minutes. Oh. Eight hundred fifteen minutes so to go eight hundred feet. feet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so finally, there finally. Oh, Jeez. Okay. Not five, fifteen. So highway fifteen. Yes, fifteen. The one that says Arrow C. Mm-hmm. I'll see ya. And it says highway fifteen. Okay. But like, uh, like you said that the, um, this trip is taking longer than the GPS said though. Yeah, and we, I mean, granted we're, we weren't like booking it and holding our urine and stuff, so, you know. We, right, we stopped we a lot and, and kind of dicked, dicked around. around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's still, I mean, we're going to, we're talking like nine hours, like 12 hours versus nine hours. So even with our, yeah. we, we didn't do three hours of screw around. Not at all, no. You know, because no. we still are very... Well, quickly. and we drove, I mean, the driving is pretty fast. It's not like... 70. Or it's, yeah, it wasn't like, miles. it wasn't slow. I mean, there was no part, this part was slow. Yeah. You know, where we just were stuck in traffic forever. But this tiny little town. But, um... Just, I think it was probably ideal conditions. But it was, uh -huh. that it was calculating, you know, 
so we just need to keep that in mind. But but yeah, so it takes longer. Yeah. It, it was a longer day. It's going to end up being a longer right. day. And we still don't know how long. We're still at about an hour and, what, 50 minutes or something? Uh, 45. Hour and 45. 42. 42. Okay. Good us making progress. Okay. 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 This, is, this is Highway 15, now 95 miles. So you will see you. Okay. So we're going uh, south. We'll see 166 kilometers. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Fair okay. enough. Here we go. <laughs> what was that for? It was like half a mile of topes. You went in topes or something? No. Oh, this is, and then, yeah, I mean, I have this the picture that's painted of this road. Right. Is that it's like a narrow two lane highway. Uh huh. You know, fireworks and people with six shooting guns and you know, on both sides and you know, huh. you're gonna get you know carjacked at every turn you know this is a, just an interstate type highway it's a federal highway yeah it's you just know, weird a, i wonder i mean maybe there's places further down you know I maybe there's, there's places I there's like highways that right over there and i bet there's yeah. highways right over there yeah they're not the federal highways that where probably that's dangerous. probably what's going on. Sure, sure. But that makes sense. Yeah, but not this road. Yeah, yeah. You know, when people say you can't drive through Mexico at night, well, look at all the people driving at night. No, I know. The people it's, it's drive like, at night in Mexico, see? Yeah, no, see it's so like I-80. Like This is just driving on a highway at night. What, at what? No, I know. I, I obviously, I'm driving I mean... Driving at night, here I am. Okay, look at the road. Mm-hmm. I was lying, we're in Nebraska. Yeah, right. Oh, no, nope. I wasn't lying, we're in Mexico. Yeah, I know, I know. Tell me, how is it different? Well, and it's, I mean, I think that it's cool that people post their experiences online. And they, that they have an experience or whatever, you know. But it's like, uh disillusioning. I mean, if you go looking for trouble, you find it when you're traveling, you know? Yeah. But if you if you aren't looking for it, you're less likely to find it. I mean, not to say things, I mean, bad shit happens when you're traveling, right? I mean, sometimes things don't go the way you planned. I mean, for sure. But like, like to portray something like this as being so different than it actually is you know, to make it seem like it's so scary, and I, I don't know, I mean, it's it's unfortunate because it's kind of been a fun drive today. We've been able to just, like, talk and yeah. kind of gawk out the window and stuff. I mean, it's not stressful it's, at all. I mean, the, the Yucatan was like that, too, though, yeah. where we were driving in the Yucatan, you know, between Cancun and Progreso, and it's like, this is almost boring. You know, I mean, it wasn't a scenic, that drive from the Cancun to Progresso to Merida or whatever, you know, but this drive was scenic and, and with the exception of just a few potholes, like really easy. It's been a fun road trip. So yeah, far so it's, good. It's just, it's just like, yeah, a fun road trip. That's and I, I can imagine, you know, if you like did a long road trip and like you had one really scary experience, you know, you're driving along and, and you have one really scary experience with somebody or something, how that could color your whole trip, especially if you don't travel much, maybe, you know, I don't know. And then all of Mexico is whatever your single isolated experience is. But, yeah. Well, and where it maybe, you know, colors the whole trip. Like I could see how maybe then you'd start to maybe alter your own memories, go back and be like, you know, well, maybe all of that was dangerous, but we were just ignorant to it. That's true. You know, but so far, like, this just isn't that scary at all. I mean, it's scary isn't even doesn't even fit into that category. Well, it's almost almost boring. If it weren't so scenic, if I mean, this part isn't scenic. We weren't but, like you know really wanting to do this and surprised at every corner. Yeah. About how like you know uneventful it is. I wouldn't say yeah. boring, but uneventful. Normal. Normal. For our experience, yeah, totally. And it's nighttime. Nighttime. Yep. Okay. 